ligament of the shoulder is it and the head will be displaced is it if the still that it doesn't go then furthermore that giving the more traction without the again internal rotation medial rotation internal rotation bringing the arm towards mean the midline towards the midline so it will cause us of pushing the head again forward and releasing from below the cronoid process of the clavicle and after that with the pressing forcefully backward isn't it head has to be replaced so do you understand this is the caucus method it is a gentle method because your gentle traction is used isn't it arm is moved either laterally or medially gently by using the forearm as a lever or as a lever isn't it first either by the lateral rotation if it is not ready to by the lateral rotation then medial rotation and bringing the arm towards the midline isn't it so this is the caucus method second hippocrates method it is an old method hippocrates method is a old method here the patient is asked to lie down on the floor surgeon holds the patient's hand with his own hand isn't it and stocking the foot at the axilla and gently apply the pull for the traction releasing the head of the humerus and after releasing the head of the humerus the head should be pressed backward by the another hand by the another hand so this is when the hippocrates method when it is used it is used if the caucus method fails to reduct caucus method fails to reduct usually how to reduct the acute dislocation that is anterior acute dislocation of the shoulder with the caucus method because it is gentle method do you understand then arm hanging method arm hanging method arm hanging method means what it is a four pole method of the reduction where the patient is asked to lie down on the table table by hanging the arms on the sides of the table that which will causes the what the release of the head due to the weight of the arm will act as a traction is a traction which releases the head and patient should get actual 15 minutes as per the muscle of the patient is robust keep for the more time and at least for the 15 minutes and after that by moving the lateral rotation and the uh, press the head of the humerus backward so this is arm hanging method here arm is hanged for what to applying the traction over the humerus or head to release the head from below the coracoid process bring it anteriorly and then push it backward so this is what the fourth one is arm hanging method so the reduction of the anterior acute dislocation can be covered as by any one of this method is suitable there but remember the all processes should be carried under the anesthesia that which will go over the it will not cause the pain to the patient and second it will cause the relaxation of the muscle it will help or allows to reduce the dislocation properly then immobilization immobilization so immobilization be carried out with the arm chest bandage arm chest bandage after reduction hold this one arm flex the elbow and bring this with with adduction adduction of the arm and bring it in front of the chest in the midline like this one and this should be wrapped around with the chest with what bandage that's what arm chest and like this one arm chest bandage isn't it so this is what the treatment of the acute anterior dislocation now we'll see the treatment of the posterior acute dislocation or acute posterior dislocation of the shoulder here reduction the method for the treatment of the posterior dislocation very easy one that where here the reduction is carried out by the lateral rotation the surgeon has to hold the arm of the patient or at the wrist in his hand or the one hand is it and do the abduction and then lateral rotation means lateral rotation with the abduction is it it will cause moving the head of the humerus forward head of the humerus forward if what so understand the reduction of the posterior acute dislocation of the shoulder should be carried out by what the lateral rotation with the abduction here surgeon has to hold the hand of the patient at the wrist in his own hand 
have given the lateral rotation in attraction. So see, this moment is carried what happens? See, it, it, it moves laterally and outward with the abduction. So humor should be more like this. So when it was displaced posteriorly, either in the supraspinatus post or inferior post, it becomes forward. Isn't it? And along with the surgeon has to places the head of the humerus forward. Forward with another hand, thumb of the another hand. And thus it will be reptile. Isn't it? Then immobilization. Here immobilization should be carried out in abduction. Isn't it? Same for abduction position with the spica plaster. Speak up plaster, keeping the ear, the speak up and keeping it abducted. Here, the dislocation should be, our shoulder should be immobilized with the abduction with the speak up plaster. Isn't it? It is opposite to that what? Immobilization in anti dislocation. In anti dislocation, we have been immobilized in the abduction. Isn't it? Arm chest bandage. And here, in abduction, the speak up plaster. Pika plaster, isn't it? And this emulation continues at least for the three to four weeks, either with the bandage or with the speak up. So to understand, so this is the a treatment of the acute dislocation of shoulder. That hope you understand the acute dislocation of the shoulder and its treatment.